Hello my friends, this is Regular Slasher and thank you for watching. I think now is the time for me to share to you what I have learned so far when it comes to things outside the dojo. Yes, I do understand that we have as much as possible of our free time to visit our dojo and to enhance our skills and technique to whatever level you want it to be, whether from beginner to advanced. But tell you what, one of the most important aspects of our journey particularly in this martial arts journey is the way we see things outside of the dojo let me tell you one of these things with the hope that it could help you guide you along along your journey I am recommending to you this particular book Mastery by Robert Green One of the reasons why I like this book it's because not only it is practical or not only it offers you practical advice that you can really use it as soon as you step out of your door but you can also get the most important parts and really retain it in our system for example before you undertake what journey you would like to do all you need to do is look into yourself you don't need outside influence in fact remember what they call um some people call it your calling or your destiny whatever it is that obsesses you to pursue the thing that you love in my case I am trying to improve my public speaking skills because this is one of the things that I don't like to do but I am fully aware that in order for me to step my game up I have to do this okay I think what will help you maintain yourself in the path is to stay reminded that you have a mission in life before you eventually go out if you know what I mean the second point that I would like to share to you is this based from this book what I have learned as the most important point is this the more you excel in the skills that you are undertaking the reactions from other people are to be taken into consideration for example the people around you are envious of your skills how do you deal with that especially that envy for example you are good at reading latin but your friends are so envious but they don't know how to admit it 
unfortunately envy is one of the most unfortunate disease that people would not admit it but it manifests in so many different ways in order for you to understand what I'm talking about I guess you have to experience it but one concrete example that I could give you is office politics if you happen to work in the corporate your asshole co-worker decides to put roadblocks in front of you in the hopes to sabotage your hard-earned work. How do you deal with that? You can consult this book. Finally, that every day we pursue this path we are reminded how short our life is that in fact it eventually becomes a blessing why because every day we wake up we don't know if we are gone or what because of that, we make the best out of all the seconds that we are here. I hope that I have, I have imparted to you the knowledge that I am or I have shared to you. And if you have some comments, don't hesitate to leave them on the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button for more cool stuff. This is Regular Slasher. Thank you. Bye bye. And domo. ありがとうございました。